John really believed that every child, regardless of background, deserved an excellent education. He saw journalism as an opportunity to really start conversations, to provoke thought, which is what educators do. When I think about great leadership in terms of organizations, there's often a need for a, a visionary, a missionary, and a bean counter. And for those who know John, he wasn't as much of a bean counter, but uh, he had the other two in spades. He had a passion for his family, a passion for life, and he had a passion for our state. Everything he, f he believed in was about how do we actually get better. My dad spent his life here in Delaware, and he made a lot of contributions to help promote education here in our state, and it's something I think he was very proud of. Um, and I think he would, he would be humbled to, to, to see this award named for him. I'm really honored, um, primarily because I knew John Taylor and I knew what he stood for uh, in terms of educational advocacy. And it wasn't about a black or white education, it was for effective education. You teach a child the way the child learns. I was four, quite frankly. I, I was. <laughs>